Hello everyone, this is Kathy Lee with your top 10 crypto charts of the week. So what I want to first call your attention to is that, you know, the short and me, uh, short term trends for Ethereum and Solana in our um, BK Crypto Crusher heat maps have start to turn positive. So we've been in downturn for quite some time and the short term trends are beginning to turn positive, which um, is a little concerning for the bears because it suggests that we could be at the cusp of a more significant turnaround in the crypto market. And then this is Ethereum as well as Solana. So let's take a look at those charts. So Ethereum here has a upward sloping trend line and it's actually a upward um, channel here and we've actually if we close like this we're closing above the 20 simple moving average for the first time since December 27th so this is a pretty significant move and if we get that even though we've got resistance at 29 um, 20 we could see a more significant move up to 3200 taking a look at the weekly charts we also see the possibility of a um, stronger recovery and um, um, let's uh, expand this and you know we're at the top of the range um, here for the four hour chart but you know the moods seem to be shifting in Ethereum Solana doesn't look as great Solana we're still below the 20 moving average so the downtrend still remains intact and I think that it's quite clear that um, 110 is the or we can bump it up a little bit to these highs here. That should be more significant. 113.90 is the resistance level in Solana. It really needs to close above that to have a more significant rally. But that's what we see in um, Ethereum. Solana, though, you know, I think you know we're gonna have to give it a few more days, trading days, to see whether it starts to fail here or actually test the upper um, uh, resistance line. Bitcoin is um, looking more like Solana than Ethereum. And so the question is Ethereum leading the market movements um, right now or is it uh, or is the hesitation in Bitcoin it still reflective of the overall market? For now, it does look like we're still below the 20 SMA so the downtrend remains intact, but we're test testing the top end. So I am a little worried about our short trade in Bitcoin, but for the time being, it does look like the downtrend's intact. Four hour charts um, suggest a little bit of strength, but not too much because as we're still in very consolidated mode so the coins aren't showing as much as we would like binance range trading nothing going on downtrend remains intact but i have to say the longer you remain in a range the more significant the breakout that's going to happen could be so we've just been trading the range our signals have been just um, moving in the range but you know we could have a situation where we do get a breakout and we're still watching for that Cardano. Cardano is also in the range very much like Binance. And, um, you know, you could say this is a consolidated bottom. We'll have to watch that. The levels to watch in the top side needs to close above 115.45 or needs to close below one um, parity. And I think right now I would have to say the bias is more to the upside than the downside. Ripple, with regards to Ripple, just range trading, nothing going on, waiting for a breakout. It's going to follow all of the other coins and what they do. Litecoin, um, Litecoin, you know, a little bit, um, it, it looks exactly like um, uh, Cardano, I think, where we're starting to move upwards, um, 120 resistance, and um, the support is going to be at 103, and we could start to trend higher there. Um, Luna uh, is bearish. We've got a cross below the um, 100 SMA of the 20 SMA. I think it wants to move further lower. And so that one, you know, seems like it's moving lower. Polkadot, um, in terms of Polkadot, you know, looking like something like um, Cardano um, and and uh, something else we looked at. I'm sorry. Did we look at Litecoin already? Yeah, Cardano and Litecoin. And that's also, you know, suggesting that we could potentially move upwards. So definitely a little bit more sign of strength and weakness. Um, Ripple, range trading, nothing going on there. Um, you know, just kind of moving um, in a grind. Same thing with Joj, same thing with um, Shiba Inu. But as I said, consolidation usually precedes a big breakout. So the question is, is to upside to downside. Um, there are signs that lead me to believe that it could be 
to the upside for the crypto market. But, you know, it really is based upon how equities trade. Equities on Friday uh, went from very negative to, you know, turning positive um, at the start of the New York Open. We're doing this recording. And if that continues and becomes a positive day, we could have a stronger move higher. But we are watching this very carefully because, you know, crypto is very volatile. We trade over the weekend. We'll have to see what happens. All of the tightening measures by central banks is obviously not good for um, the crypto market. Um, so, you know, we're still in wait and see mode to see when the breakouts are going to happen. But as we know with crypto, when the breakouts happen, they can be very, very significant. So if you want to um, check out what we do, I encourage you to check out bkcryptocrusher.com for more trade ideas. Thank you.